free, so enjoy those on us. Again, freetalklive.com. Here with you, it's Ian. JJ. And Mark. All right, we're going to jump right back into your phone calls here. Tommy is on the line in Glasgow. Uh, you've said that there's some sort of a football, we call it soccer here, uh, but that sport, there's a controversy happening, uh, some sort of uh, dust-up. Well, what's happening out there? Right. I spoke to you before prior. My background, Glasgow Celtic, the team I follow, we come from Ireland. Uh, the oppression uh, has happened in Scotland and Ireland against the Catholic minority. Uh, and Scotland is a ca- the Catholic is a minority. In Ireland, they are the majority. But even so, Britain invaded them many years ago. And this is quite... Uh, I have to give this revision of history because it's quite important. Because where we stand just now... What is basically the two football teams are basically the last remnants of an ancient war that was fought between the kings of Britain and Ireland, fought for control over hundreds of years, and then, as I say, the supplantation of the indigenous population of Ireland and the, and, and the slaughter of a million people. And it's still fresh because Glasgow Celtic was formed on the back of that. And what happened in the last 20 years is this uh, clan, they would call them Glasgow Rangers, they have set about decimating the whole of Scottish football with a form of voodoo economics, if you like. And what they've done, they've flooded Scottish football with a tsunami of money. And all the rest of the clubs went into huge amounts of debt to try and keep up. And now we're finding out that this Wait a minute, team, well, the slow Glasgow down for a Rangers, moment here. Let me make sure I'm following you here. So you're saying there's one particular football team, and what, what's their name? Glasgow Rangers. The Glasgow Rangers. And what? And you're saying they're flooding yeah, what they, the, the game with money? What does it mean when you say that? Well, they had a rich owner who was worth hundreds of millions of pounds, or so he let people believe. But what he did, he went to the bank and he was a capitalist. He was into steel. He was a steel magnet. But he was highly leveraged at the bank. So the bank uh, gave him huge amounts of money. And so with the financial meltdown of the last four years, the bank began calling in money from all, all everyone. And this wealthy industrialist was in debt to the tune, and is in debt to the tune of about 800, 900 million. And but is he taking this money and capital- spending it on, uh, just to clarify, he's taking money from the bank and spending it on his team, basically, like hiring the best players? Or what, what's he doing with this uh, hundreds of millions of, uh, of dollars or pounds or whatever? Right, so uh, roughly the debt for Glasgow Rangers is 134 million. And the tax man, the tax bill, what they've not paid, we're waiting for a decision now, but they reckon they owe the tax man. Ninety million pounds sterling, and what this has done, this has allowed them to have a financial doping, as they're calling, or cheating. They've gave them it's, it's the equivalent of the New York Yankees being allowed to spend ninety million, and the New York Jets only been allowed to spend nine million. Well, what will happen? That will be an unfair advantage, an unfair sporting advantage, and this is what's happened in Scottish football. And sadly, the media. The mainstream media has been complicit for all these years, sitting on their hands while this happened. And I'm putting this call out to you to send investigative journalists to look into it because (laughs) I'm standing here (laughs) shouting to the planet and saying, contact UEFA. If you're in the United States of America, contact UEFA, UEFA UEFA.com, at the bottom right hand, contact us. And asked to speak what to is David Uefa, Taylor, what is Uefa. Michelle com? Platini. Tommy, cal- calm down for Sorry? just a moment. What what is UEFA? UEFA is the governing body of football, and they're doing supposed to be doing an investigation. But what is happening? Rangers at this moment are t- managing to do a huge cover up because what you have to understand is Scotland became the home of Freemasonic uh, people. And when after the Crusades, the leader of the Freemasons, Jack de Morley, the, the Knights Templars, who went on the Crusades to the Holy Land. So what happened? They were being burnt to the stake by the Pope in France. And what does and that have to do with the football teams? 
What's that have to do with Sorry, football? Hold on, let, let, let me explain. Let me explain. The Freemasons were given shelter in Scotland. Check the Da Vinci Code out. And what happened then, the, the Freemasonic rights, Scotland is a base for Freemasonry. And the Freemasons who took over the United States of America. And what I'm saying to you, they've got a huge big cover-up in Scottish football. So wait a minute, I'm still confused. Up and it's a cover-up. Tommy, so the Freemasons run the Glasgow team? Okay, hold on. Tommy, I have to say, I'm pretty confused. This seems like a really important issue to you. And um, so let me see if I've got this straight. You're saying the Rangers, the Glasgow Rangers, have uh, ni over $90 million yes. in or pound silver or sterling uh, debt because of ba to bank loans. To, to the tax man? To the tax man, you said? another thought, $50 million, so Okay, I thought there was money that they owed to the banks as million, well. $140 million. To the banks. Yeah. Okay, so they owe 140 million to the banks, and you're saying this is somehow unfair because other teams weren't given the same loans, or they didn't ask for those same loans. What's the real issue? No, here? It's, it's about the real issue is that they have not paid their bills to the tax man and to other football clubs and to the banks. And, and you're saying the media over in Scotland has, and you're saying the media in Scotland is ignoring this story that this is not news over there. They are, no, they're telling lies to cover up and to protect Rangers and to protect parties who have committed this fraud, parties who have committed this corruption of football. Because, like I said to you, if you give the New York Yankees $90 million and the New York Jets $9 million well, and you say... Go eventually, and buy I, I heard what you said, Tommy. You don't, need you, to, you don't need to repeat yourself. But uh, now, eventually, the bank's going to want their money, right? I mean, it's not like the bank's just going to waive that $140 million to the sports team. So... No, it's not. It's not that. It's, it's it's the government. The government. They have not paid taxes. They they have. They well, have I support indulged. people not right? paying taxes. I mean, I I don't think people should pay taxes. Do you? But you can imagine the disadvantage that it puts uh, the other teams at that do pay. Yeah, I mean, I understand that other slaves well, are upset by people not paying taxes, uh, but I think it's heroic to another not pay thing taxes. as well. One 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 last thing. Yeah, what they have done. The, the, the tax bill that they owe to the government is so high because what they did, they, they, they found a loophole where they gave two contracts to their players. So it meant that the contract that they gave should only be one contract, but they were giving them two contracts so that they could pay them one payment in the UK and another payment in an offshore trust and somewhere Sweet. like the Bermuda or, or the Bermuda Triangle, and the money has disappeared. <laughs> you know, you never hear enough about the Bermuda Triangle someone. these days. Hey, Tommy, thanks for the call, man. I appreciate hearing from you. And I guess you know some people are really, you know, they think sports is a very important topic, and uh, sometimes there's some real controversies going on with sports. And I like, want to see the Yankees well, play the Jets. Is there, what I want to see. There's also a lot of speculative betting with sports, and of course, a lot of people take that very serious. And when there's some sort of uh, situation in which things aren't fair or or there is this sort of conspiracy then that does have a a big problem with that community I to some extent that. this has happened in mlb essentially there are six baseball teams or some some number thereabout and then there's this bunch of other minor league teams that they stomp on and the you know um, these teams have a whole bunch of money these big teams you know, the Boston Red Sox mm -hmm. the the Yankees these teams sell out constantly i remember having gone in the last few years before Tampa Bay uh, the Tampa Bay Devil Rays had their uh, you know had had really done well in the last couple of years but i was going there and we were paying 6 dollars 8 dollars Twelve dollars to get in for tickets. Now, I like a, a baseball game in real life. I don't want to watch that stuff on TV, but in real life, it's it's kind of neat to see. And uh, you know, I mean, they can't keep the lights on for what they were. The place was vacant. Toll free number eight five five four fifty three. That's the SACL C A I toll free line. So they're getting money from the big teams, and it's being spread out. There's more coming up here. You can take control of the airwaves. Uh, not one of the most important, uh, I think, issues, uh, but, you know, for some people it is.